Hi everybody, Susan Mershon here, The Techie Mentor. I just wanna say thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. And today we are officially, or I should say I am officially um, relaunching my YouTube channel. And it's really gonna be focused on virtual assistant tips, tricks, and advice. And it's really for anybody who's an aspiring VA, a new VA, or even an experienced VA, because I will cover a variety of topics on this YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. I'll be releasing weekly videos, so stay tuned for more. This first video, I just wanted to share a little bit about me and my backstory for those of you who may not know me. Like many of you, I started my business while I was working full time. And the catalyst to change for me was I had a late in life baby who was unexpected and he is a blessing, but he was the catalyst for change because when I was away on maternity leave, it was wonderful but before I had left my job as an IT project manager um, I had handed over the project that I was working on with the understanding when I returned from maternity leave I would get the project back because I had resurrected this project from near death and it was flourishing when I handed it off so I came back had been back to work for about a week and I had said okay when can we have the turnover meeting so I can get my project back and I kept getting delayed and kept getting excuses and I finally said well what's the deal Am I gonna get the project back or not? And I was told no, but I wasn't given a reason why I wouldn't get the project back. And I couldn't get a reason. Um, the rumor mill came to me and said, well, I heard it's because you just have a baby at home and you know you have a newborn and, and you're probably not gonna be as available um, as maybe they need. And I thought, well, that's crap. Um, I'd always been available. This isn't my first child. And I had done a great job before. And the more I thought about it, the more I, made me mad. I, I got angry. Um, I thought, you know, I've, I've busted my butt for this company. I've done all of this and this is the thanks that I get. Um, I don't get back my project and you tell me that, you know, uh, you may not be as available as you were before because you have a newborn at home. And so that was, that was really kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. At that point, I thought, you know what, I'm going to take my talents elsewhere. And now as a project manager, I had worked for other companies from home, like Discover Card and American Express. But I thought, you know what, I don't wanna do that. I don't want to be, I don't wanna work for anybody else anymore. I don't wanna deal with this crap, right? The gossip, the backstabbing, the politics, the commute. I just wanna get rid of all of it, right? It came to the point where I just hated my soul sucking job because that's what it felt like. How many of you can relate to that, huh? Um, with a job, you're really kind of boxed in. A lot of times you're, you're, you don't know what your true talents are because you're just doing the same stuff day to day. And maybe you're unappreciated and unheard, right? You always have to ask permission for everything. I just didn't want any of that anymore. I wanted my freedom. So my word is freedom. I wanted freedom in every sense of the word. I was tired of, of making somebody else money. I wanted to make myself money and not have to deal with all the crap that comes with the job. Not only that, but I wanted to have the flexibility to be home for my children. I mean, I hated it when I used to have to call in because, you know, my son had the chicken pox and we couldn't go to school for a week. Um, even though he only had four, I, I couldn't take him to school. You know, I had to call in sick for a week. I'd take sick time, but I was always worried I was going to get fired. You know, in what world is it okay to put your job in front of your family? I didn't like that, right? I didn't like that feeling. And so... I decided I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna quit my job. <laughs> of course, I had to figure out what I was gonna do first. So I set out um, to Google, your friend Google, and I Googled, you know, what can I do from home? Now realize, I don't have um, a college education, okay? Yeah, I have a high school education. I did do a little college, but I went to work at 17 for my father, and I just never stopped working because I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grow up. I just kept working. I liked having the money. Um, I had a little more uh, money than all my friends that were in school. So I just kept working and I was lucky enough that I was given a lot of opportunity to move up the corporate ladder and make more money as I went along. So I don't have any special education. And so that was a fear of mine when I thought, okay, well, how can I be a VA? First of all, I have no experience. I don't even know what a VA does, um, but I think I can do it. And so the VA industry is what I obviously stumbled across when I was doing my search. Um, and then I thought, okay, how am I gonna do this? Well, I thought, okay, I'll go out and buy some training or I'll buy some books. And 10 years ago, when I started my business, there's not what there is today. There was very limited things. And everything that I bought was about being an admin. I didn't want to be an admin. I hadn't been an admin in 20 years, right? I knew I had skills that I could use to do the same thing, but not be an admin. 
So that was the first stumbling block. I thought, well, I don't want to go back and be an admin. No offense to admins, but that's not what I wanted to do. Well, as I started to do more research, I realized that, you know, that's just a perception. The, the VA industry is not admin specific. It's diverse. There's all these different skill sets. And I thought, okay, that's better. I can do some of these things because I'm a project manager. I can do tasks and, and I can do project management stuff um, and I can learn. So the benefit of having a job when you're building your business is that you have income that you can spend on that kind of stuff. And so I did, I bought training and I bought books and some of them were crap and some were good, but a lot of them were admin focused. And so I thought, okay, how am I gonna do this? What kind of skills do I need? And so I started to do more research into skills and then I realized I don't have the skills that a lot of clients want but I had the money to be able to invest. Now I know not everybody does, but you could still do things like watch YouTube, which is what I did, right? YouTube became my best friend when I was like, clients wanted me to know WordPress. I'm like, well, what's a WordPress? And I'm a techie. I used to build websites with HTML, but I'd never heard of WordPress before. So, you know, I used YouTube as a way to, to kind of find what I needed. And so the more research I did, the more excited I got, like, okay, I can do this. But then the problem was how? am I going to do this? I have a 40 plus hour job. I have a two hour commute every day and I have an infant at home. Plus I had a nine year old son at the time as well. How am I going to make this work? Right? How am I going to find the time to build a business when I'm working all the time and spending time with my family? And I thought to myself, okay, I have to create a schedule. Plus I have to offer the skills that aren't going to keep me in front of my computer at specific times. So a lot of the administrative skills like email management or customer service, you have to be in front of a computer or your phone um, certain hours of the day. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be able to do the work when I could around my own schedule and deliver it on time. And so I made that choice. And so I started looking into more of the technology skills, right? The back end of somebody's business to help them be able to run their business. And that kind of stuff wasn't going to keep me in front of my computer all the time. And then I really didn't have to talk about hours, right? I just talked about deadlines. All right, so once I thought, okay, I know some skills I can learn, and, and, and now I'm like, well, how do I do this, okay? First of all, I also noticed um, there was a, a lack of, of legitimate kind of training around how do you set up the business. A lot of it was around how do you be an admin? Well, I don't wanna be an admin. Well, I noticed there was a lot of stuff missing around how to set up the systems for your business because that's all a business is, is a bunch of systems. I couldn't find anything in that. And so one of the things I thought is, okay, I'm gonna have to figure that out on my own. But the other conflict I had is, okay, how do I do that? Again, when do I have the time? So what I ended up doing was I created a plan. I created a plan and a schedule. So I sat down and thought, okay, what are the hours that my kids are asleep that I can actually do this? So I actually ended up getting, and I'm not a morning person, I'll tell you this way, I ended up getting up early in the morning, like two hours earlier, and then working late at night to be able to do the work that I needed to do. And then I worked on Saturdays, um, and I took Sundays off, because if I realized very quickly, if you work all the time, you burn out. So I just said, okay, I'm gonna create a plan and a schedule that says these are the things that I'm going to do, and then you have to stick to that plan. Now everybody's different, but mine was getting up two hours in the morning early, um, leaving my my job at, at lunch to go to like Starbucks and do some work there instead of, I don't um, think it's a good idea to use your, your employer's resources to build your business, so you might wanna go somewhere else. And then the other thing I did was after my kids went to bed at night, I also did some work. And so having a schedule is so, so key to um, building your business and, and getting out of your soul-sucking job. Now you also have to realize, I had to replace a, um, a six-figure income in order for me to quit my job. So it didn't take me 30 days or 60 days, it took me 18 months to be able to do this. And it was way longer than I wanted it to be, but that was the way it was based on the information I could find and how to build a business. I had to end up doing it all myself and figuring it out as I went along and making lots of mistakes. Um, but I had to replace that big of an income in order for me to quit my job. And so that's one of the things you have to realize is how much do you need to earn to be able to leave your job? Because a lot of people jump ship early and then realize they're not making enough money. And that's the last thing you want to do is struggle um, to have money. I did that too, right? I didn't really figure out the whole money thing really well, but it took me 18 months uh, and then I was able to leave my job. And what a difference, right? 
Now there were still some learning curves because I'd never been um, my own boss. I'd always been an employee, which means I'm always used to being given direction or asking for permission. And it's a whole different world when you have your own uh, business. I did that for about four years and, and I noticed um, after about two years of being in business, people were coming to me and saying, well, Susan, how did you, how did you, how did you do that? How did you build your business while you worked full time? And, and what tips could you help me with? And what could, what could you help me do? And I started to think, you know, I could probably share with them the, the things that I did that helped me be successful. And so that's how I became the Techie Mentor. Um, I do also have um, experience in teaching um, this will date me, but I used to teach DOS and Windows and WordPerfect. So teaching is second nature to me. It's something I've always loved to do. And so I, I kind of moved from um, doing the work to helping people do what it is that I did to be successful. So, you know, I created my action plan that gives you, you know, the actual step-by-step -step, um, task to do to create a business, which is something I was missing. Um, and that's based on years of experience and lots of lots of hiccups along the way. And so that's how I became the Techie Mentor. And now um, my, my passion is helping women um, and men be successful in whatever they want to be as far as being a VA, right? Because success means different things to different people. So that's my, my passion. Um, and I hesitated when I say men, only because 95% of the people that come to me are women, but I do have a few men as well. Um, but really helping them understand what it takes to be successful, um, being honest about that it's not easy, that it does take a lot of work, but it is so, so worth it if it's something that you want, want to do. Um, so that kind of gives you a little bit about my backstory. Um, so if you're somebody who's thinking, okay, I have a full-time job, I have kids, I have an awful commute, I hate my job, I really want to do this. Is it possible? Yeah, I, I am living proof that it's possible. Now realize you can't do it in 30 days. This is not something you do in a weekend. This is something that takes time. Building a business, a successful business, takes time. But if you only have to build it once, build it right, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Then you can move into having the freedom and flexibility that you want to have. So hopefully, um, Sharing my story maybe has given some of you who are wondering if this is for you and if it's doable, maybe it's giving you some hope. Um, I do say thank you very much for joining me for this very first session. And I will be sharing uh, weekly tips, tricks, and advice on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you have something you want me to talk about, you have questions, please comment below and I will be happy to um, answer those as well as do a, a video on that specific thing. So thanks again. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.